listening to Mike Winger. He's he's a good teacher in most things, you know. Oh, I can appreciate that. He's talking about an absolutely critical truth in the face of these theonomists who, who want to enforce the law of God through the civil government amongst the Reformed brethren, which is a huge mistake. Huge mistake. And they're going to make it sound really good. And uh, they're right about the law as far as it being standing and defining sin and being the rule of faith for the believer. They're not wrong about that. They're wrong about enforcing it before Christ returns, mainly because of their false eschatological framework, which they're kind of forced into because of, if you just study history and of the church. And, you know, you can't blame them totally, right? Because there were, there are a lot of false predictions and just bad teaching. But the Reformation was, you know, of God, but, you know, it wasn't perfect. Always reforming was an idea that the Reformers had uh, in the later period of the Reformation. They recognized that, you know, you don't get everything right all at once. That's why um, you have to think carefully about it. So it's not that we didn't have the gospel from the first century on. It's that more and more truths got hidden and that was all predicted in prophecy. So, um, you have to obey the gospel. You know that, right? It's not just a belief, a mental assent. There's an obedience to the gospel too. But, uh, you know, Mike was teaching something very important. My kingdom is not of this world, Jesus said. He'll bring the kingdom. Not you. Not you, Calvinist, theonomist. Um, but I do expect that they'll have some progress there when they, I mean, just think about it. Like it's going to come down to something like we can enforce this thing and pass it through and the Catholics will join with us and we can, we can get the vote. And if you don't go along with it, you're, you're for murdering babies because of abortion issues and who knows what else they'll, they'll shame you into it. That's how it's going to happen. Like, how could you not do this? Well, my tradition says that you're going to, the mark of the beast is going to be, you know, this is where Adventists believe the mark of the beast is going to be Sunday. And people don't understand it very well, but it's like, look, because they'll enforce it by law and there'll even be a death decree for not following, you'll have to break one of God's commandments, which most people already break willingly. And this is the thing you got to understand about Adventists. We're trying to tell you the truth because, and you misunderstand, you feel beat up because you have no arguments against uh, against uh, our position is what the reality is, but not to be like a jerk about it. But wait till they start enforcing laws on you by the civil arm behind the, with a behind with a gun behind it. Look, you are absolutely free to not give a darn about the Sabbath. Absolutely, we wouldn't have it any other way. We don't want to enforce the Sabbath on you or any of the laws, you know, other than the ones that are obviously already being enforced, like do not murder and such, and don't bear false witnesses a crime in a courtroom setting. But as far as how you worship God, that cannot be enforced by the civil arm of the government. Anyone who's trying to enforce quote-unquote Christian law on from a civil arm is, is, all, is actively working for Satan, whether they know it or not. And so look, feel free to, you know, sell, buy and sell on the Sabbath. Wouldn't have it any other way. But just remember, God says, remember the Sabbath. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. So by all means, don't keep it. But you, sh but God wants you to. And you should if you love Jesus. But, so, 